Hey guys, what's up? Just got back from my trip to California, visiting my girlfriend. I had an awesome time there, spent a week and a couple days, and I'm sad and also kind of glad to be back home. Sad to have left, but at the same time, I'm glad that I had the time and opportunity to spend up there. Um, also, I caught a couple things up there with my girlfriend. Um, uh, some of this stuff is before and a couple things are even after the fact that I, uh, since I've gotten back too. I've just been so sporadic with these pickups that it's hard for me to remember everything. And I'm sort of going to try to divide it up into like movies, games, and books. Sort of make different sections for the videos. So that uh, if you're interested in one thing, uh, skip to that or like skip one apart or whatever. But if you like seeing all the stuff that I pick up, then prepare yourself because this might be a long one. Um, I suppose I will start with video games considering that is what most people come here for. And a couple things actually had to be shipped to me because they couldn't fit in my bag and whatnot. So um, I'll make an add-on to this pickups video. So this might be a couple weeks late. Uh, not saying that my regular videos aren't usually that way, but uh, once my girlfriend ships them out for me, thank you. Um, then I will have them in this video uh, tacked on somewhere. So without further ado, let's start with the video games. A couple weeks ago, uh, well, I've, I've had this pre-ordered for a couple months now. It finally came in. Uh, the first uh, print run of these. Uh, of this game uh, comes with a steel book, and uh, you'll be noticing a lot of steel books within this update, and probably future update, future updates as well. I am a steel book whore. I friggin' love them for like absolutely no reason other than the fact that they look cool. Um, but yeah, Valkyria Chronicles Remastered on PS4. I had this game on PS3. I guess I still have it. It's right over there. Um, and I loved playing it. I never beat it because I kind of gave up on it. I don't know why. I just had other games and. Uh, as usual, life seems to um, find its way to uh, take up a lot of my time. So, uh, but yeah, I finally picked up this, and I'm still not, I'm still playing it, still haven't beaten it yet, but I'm getting way farther than I did in the PS3 version. I'm actually uh, like two stages away from beating the game, and I don't know if I'll play it again because it's trophies or not, because you can only get trophies in like two playthroughs or maybe even three. I don't know. Um, trophies are very hard to obtain in this game. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it comes with a cool steel book. Um, if you fold it out, it makes an awesome picture of Squad 7 with their tank, uh, the Edelweiss. Um, so yeah, I really recommend this game if you like uh, turn-based strategy RPGs um, mixed with sort of third-person shooting. Um, really makes for an awesome game, in my opinion, with the squads and all that. So uh, highly recommended, and uh, yeah, a great game. The next batch of games here I picked up at work, of all things. I work at a grocery store called Coburn's. They're like one of the few... Uh, like actual stores that have an actual like video and video game rental uh, place inside the store. In fact, it's the only one I can actually even think of right now, unless there's some other small chains or uh, gas stations or something that do. Um, I picked up two DS games and two Wii games, uh, pre-owned obviously, for four dollars each, um, which is a little more than I like spending on pre-owned stuff. But uh, these titles are pretty decent. Um, I'll try to work my way up to the better ones. That's for sure. Uh, they all had a bunch of like stickers on the spines and stuff, but I was able to take uh, the majority of them off without much trouble. Um, there's still a few like marks and everything, but for the most part, they look pretty nice. Um, first game we have here is Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds World Championship 2010 Reverse of Arcadia. That's a mouthful. Um, I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! games in a while, but I thought I'd get this one. Um, I don't know why, uh, mostly because... They are fun games. Uh, honestly, this is the most the one I was like, I don't know why I'm picking this up the most, but I did. Uh, maybe I can sell it th further down the line for more than four dollars. But for now, uh, I have it. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Okami on Wii. I thought this was a more expensive game than uh, I originally thought. Actually, I actually already have this on PS2, which I think is the more expensive version. But uh, for my Wii collection, I decided to pick this up for four bucks. Why the hell not? Um, <laughs> if you didn't know. Uh, this has the IGN logo that they sort of ripped off the image from IGN.com for the North American cover out of this. Uh, you can find better pictures of it online, because my quality's quite shit here. I don't know why, uh, when I go to record, the screen darkens, but, uh, it does. But, uh, Okami's a pretty good game, so why not get the other version? Uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever on the Wii. I have the Rhythm Heaven game on the DS. This one I know is more iconic for its, uh, songs and stuff like that, so... Thought I'd pick it up. They're pretty fun uh, rhythm games, so not too bad. And Harvest Moon DS Grand Bazaar. 
is the last game I picked up, and that is definitely the most expensive out of the lot. I think this card alone goes for like 20 bucks or so. Uh, I like Harvest Moon. Uh, not to the degree as some people do. I, I like the PS2 game and played through the PS2 game. That's pretty much it. Uh, Save the Homeland or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's down there somewhere. Um, but uh, I thought I'd pick this up because Harvest Moon is fun. And these games are not the easiest to find for the most part. So there you go. Two games that actually were found by my parents while I was gone. You probably just got a glimpse of the one, so you probably got a little excited as much as I did when I saw it. Uh, they said they found Xbox games, but they're actually GameCube games, and they got these for 50 cents each. Um, the thing with these games, I already had both of them, but they were upgrades in some sort, and these are actually the cruddier copies. They were just the ones that were sitting on the table that I was going to sell. Um, so I just grabbed them. But uh, the actual copies are back there in the GameCube collection. These are the cruddier copies, the two that uh, didn't make the cut. Uh, but the first game that they picked up, again, 50 cents each, was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh, this is my old copy, which had a printed off cover. And I believe no manual. Yes, no manual. Uh, but the new copy that uh, they picked up for me was complete with the manual and actual cover art. So that was nice. Um, but uh, yeah. And then the second game, which is uh, definitely awesome find, although this copy is very beat up, and this is the copy that they found, uh, Pikmin 2. Um, luckily, the copy I have, again, found at a garage sale by my mom last year. Uh, if you watch the, one of the garage sale pickups episodes, so she can find Pikmin 2 games for some reason. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, 50 cents for Pikmin 2. Uh, the cover is actually, like, ripped up. They have tape on here, so that's uh, unfortunate, and it is the Player's Choice Edition. Uh, it has, like, a advertisement for Pikmin. Uh, this one actually was an upgrade for me because it came with the manual. So, And my copy was, again, the non-player's choice, but it didn't have the manual. So it upgraded to complete in box, and this upgraded to complete in box as well. But again, both uh, a really good games for the GameCube regardless. And finally, we go into the games that uh, I got up at California um, with my girlfriend. Uh, this one I'm just going to flash by real quick, Beyond uh, Two Souls. I don't know much about this game other than sort of a, a I don't even know, I think a, a choose-your-own sort of game, sort of like the Quantum quantum Dream games, like Heavy Rain and stuff. Uh, I'll go over this more later because it's one of the games that had to be shipped back to me, but uh, got this at GameStop for, uh, I think, $9, so not bad. Uh, Sengoku ba Basara, the other game I got at that GameStop up in California. Uh, this game was six dollars, and I've been seeing it around a lot lately. And uh, I know it's sort of like a Dynasty Warriors sort of game, so I've been really wanting to pick it up. And finally, I got it. Uh, speaking of Dynasty Warriors, Dynasty Warriors Seven, uh, no cover art unfortunately, but it was again six dollars at Best Buy this time, so not a bad deal at all. Um, it's not bad. It's more Dynasty Warriors on PS3, so I just really wish they had the cover art for it. And uh, these next three games uh, were all given to me by my girlfriend. She had them in her collection, and for whatever reason, she decided to give them to me. So I thank her very much for these. Um, these are some awesome games here. First game we have up here is Ribbit King. Um, I know this is a very fun golf sort of uh, game for the GameCube. I never had it. I've never been able to play it, obviously, because I never had it. But I've seen gameplay footage of it by the Game Grubs and other things. And it's actually a not-too-easy-to-find title on the GameCube. So thank you very much for that, Alyssa. And uh, two more games here, uh, Fantasy Life on the 3DS. Um, I know this is sort of like another Harvest Moon type game. She said she didn't play it anymore, so I could have it. Um, it's I, uh, Another thing is it's by level 5. Oh, there it is up there. They made Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud 2, Nino Kuni, uh, Dragon Quest 8. Uh, all games I absolutely love. So hopefully this is just as awesome. Then finally, uh, Akiba Strip on the PS3. Um... I've been wanting to get this too, whether on PS3 or PS4. I just it's always too expensive. I, I, I the most I'd ever want to pay is like fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, she gave this to me as well, so thank you very much. Uh, looks really awesome. I think it's a beat 'em up game, which is one of my favorite genres of video games. So hopefully I'll be able to play this soon. Thank you very much once again. Next, uh, we'll go into the books real quick since that's the shortest section, and then we're moving on to movies. So. You want to see all the Blu-rays and DVDs I picked up? Just skip a couple minutes or whatever. But books, here we go. Uh, real quick, um, at Barnes and Noble, uh, I coaxed my girlfriend into buying some Mega Man cards because she absolutely loves Mega Man, and uh, so do I actually. Um, but uh, she had some doubles, so she just gave me some Mega Man cards there. There's like 
Mega Man, a couple foil cards right there. Um, they all look pretty awesome. A lot of Archie Comics artwork and a lot of original Mega Man artwork in, as well in there. So thank you very much for those. I got them in this little pink holder here. Um, yeah, I didn't know I had these, but this, these fit cards pretty nicely. So <clears throat> uh, another gift from my girlfriend was Dragon Ball Z 3-in-1 Volume 6. I am collecting these uh, because she actually gave me the first two as well in this series. So still looking for three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. A lot, but this is a good start. Uh, this has the Cell Games arc inside of it. Um, a really fun. Uh, I, I freaking love Dragon Ball, so um, I've never had all the manga, but I am looking to get all of it. I have almost all of the Dragon Ball three, three and ones, so getting uh, all the DBZ ones is gonna be awesome. A uh, comic book I picked up there, not like any really comic book shops here. We have one, and it's sort of really small and doesn't really have much, but uh, they had a really awesome looking one there, and uh, uh, I'm collecting all of the new Power Rangers comics. Still missing volumes 2 and 3 of the regular series, but this volume just came out, and they had a ton of copies there. It was like the most stocked comic book there, but uh, Pink, issue 1, Power Rangers Pink. This is a spin-off series of that same comic book series I was just talking about. Um, stars the Pink Ranger, obviously. You know, after she left the team and basically lost her powers because of that. But uh, through some contrivancy, they give her back her powers and become, she becomes like an all-new Pink Ranger, as they call her. She has different armor and everything. It's a pretty good read. I will be picking up the next issue when it comes out, which I think is in probably August or so, maybe July. But uh, yeah, really cool. Um, this is only like five bucks with the protector and everything, so not bad. And finally, we get on to the movies. A lot of stuff that I picked up before. Uh, my California trip on here as well, so again, it's going to be very sporadic, but I'll try to explain things the best I can. All right, this pile of stuff I've all bought uh, before. I left there, and I just realized there's going to be a toy section at the end of this, because all the toys I had to have shipped back out to me as well, so uh, st stay tuned for that if you want. But, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, the, this pile of DVDs and Blu-rays right here is stuff I got before I left for California, like literally the weeks before, so I decided to throw them in here as well. Uh, Goosebumps. Picked this up for 15 bucks. Um, that was the price I was looking to pay for it. Usually it's around 30 to 25. Finally went down to 15 at Walmart, and this is the last copy with the slip cover. So I decided, F it, getting it now. Um, and it was actually a pretty good movie. I, I as you've probably been uh, seeing the last few pickups videos, I've been collecting the Goosebumps books. Um, so getting this was pretty much just a, a no-brainer. Um, again, pretty good movie. I heard they're already making a sequel for it, so. Uh, I'll be on, on that hype train. Uh, a steelbook that I actually ordered online, um, because I've been getting into these films recently. I just bought the collect the first collection with, like, the first few movies in it, um, which I didn't show in a pickups episode, but there you go. Uh, and that's the 2014 Godzilla movie? Yeah, 2014. Um, it's an okay Godzilla movie. I wouldn't call it great or anything, but this is an awesome steelbook. Uh, forms Godzilla's tail if you open it up and also makes his roar from this film. Don't know if you heard it, but my goal is to get all the Godzilla films, even the 98 one, all the to uh the what am I trying to think here? All the Toho films, um all of, every single Godzilla film, hopefully all on Blu-ray. Uh, I mean the collection I have right now is on DVD, but those movies are so old, I don't think Blu-ray would really help anyways. But uh, I know they're still releasing them, and this is just another part of that collection being completed. Uh, another steel book here, uh, we have American Werewolf in London. Uh, this is an awesome 80s movie that has some awesome special effects to it. And it was only $10 at Target, the last copy they had. I don't see this particular steel book too often, so I decided to grab it because I love 80s movies. That's like, the two-thirds of my collection is 80s movies. And steelbooks are just my thing now, so there you go. Um, that same day, I picked up Anastasia. Uh, not the best uh, animated movie in the world. I do remember seeing it as a kid. I, the thing I remember more is the toys from Burger King, I think, actually. Um, I remember the Bartok one and the, the, the evil magician guy whose name I can't remember right now, but his eye popped out, and that was, like, really controversial as a toy. Anyway, this is, like, three bucks for the Blu-ray at Target, so... I said, F it, why not? Uh, it's a movie from my childhood, so I like getting that kind of stuff in physical format on my shelf. Um, everything else is animated from here on out. Uh, speaking of stuff from my childhood, Simpsons Season 5. 
Um, th these episodes were actually from my childhood for the most part. Uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Wow. Um, but yeah, I have seasons 1 through 4, 15, and 20. So 5 was one I needed to got this upon America for 5 bucks, um, which is usually the price I'm willing to pay for season sets like this. Um, hoping to get seasons 6 through 14 and then 16 and 17. Hopefully 18 and 19 if they ever decide to release them. Darn you 20th Century Fox. But uh, yeah, there you go. That collection is getting a step closer to being complete as well. Uh, another Matt Groening work here. We have Futurama, uh, The Beast with the Billion Backs. This was picked up by my parents for 50 cents again at a garage sale. Um, I have seasons 1, 5, and 6. I didn't have any of the movies, which occurred between seasons 4 and 5, I think. Um... This is one of them. I think there's three of them. So, again, another thing to complete that collection. And then just sort of a random uh, blind buy for me, because I've been hearing that this is getting harder and harder to find. And that's Hey Arnold, the complete series. Uh, I got this for $20 at Walmart. If you check your Walmart, you can probably find it. But another uh, 90 series uh, from when I was a kid. This has 16 discs for 20 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Um, at that point, it was pretty much no-brainer to buy it, but it was a blind buy, sort of. Uh, here, you know, I remember watching it a little bit, not too much as like Rugrats or uh, Spongebob, but uh, that was a definitely a good find in my opinion, because it was the last copy as well. Actually, uh, other than I think the two other steelbooks that haven't been shown, which will be shown in a, uh, either already did or will be shown soon, uh, that I, the movies that I bought up there, this is the only one, and that was Zootopia on Blu-ray. I wanted to get the Target exclusive one, but we didn't go to Target a couple days after they were already out, but getting the the standard edition Blu-ray is fine because it was still on sale this week because it just came out, and I actually wa really wanted to watch this with her, but uh, that thing is going crazy. But we sort of ran out of time, so hopefully we can stream it or something. But uh, uh, another Disney movie, I would like to go for like a complete Disney movie collection from like Snow White till sort of modern, at least all the ones that I liked slash uh, want to watch. So that's one of them. And uh, two things are on my wish list. I have like a DVD wish list that I always constantly update with films that are coming out or just whatever. Um, Steven Universe The Return. Uh, this is volume two, basically. The thing I don't like about the Steven Universe DVDs, which I hope they do a collection. I'll just get rid of all of these. These are only like eight bucks at uh, Walmart anyway. Um, is that they're sort of out of order and not really like coherent in terms of like a storyline. The first volume took like episodes like 13, 7, 2, 3. 15, 20, it's all over the place. These ones are more in order, but they're still not quite there. This is like season two stuff, I think, um, when Pierdot and uh, Jasper came in the in the scene. I still gotta watch this stuff. I've only seen clips and stuff, but I really do like this show. I just wish that the DVD releases were better, but at eight bucks a piece, it's hard not to pick up. And uh, the final DVD release here is uh, Pokemon Johto League Champions. Uh, this is Pokemon Season 4. I have Seasons 1 through 3 and the first three movies and then a couple other movies up there. My goal for Pokemon is to get all of the old dub. And up to Season 8 was the old dub. So hopefully they keep releasing them like this. Uh, this was $30, which is a bit much in my opinion. But you do get over 18 hours of Pokemon on this. Which I'm trying to think of how many episodes that translates to. Let's see, that's... 20 minutes per episode, 3 episodes per hour, 18 times 3 is 33, 54 episodes on this, so that's not bad at all. The complete Season 4 of Pokemon, these uh, volume DVDs for Jojo League Champions used to go for a lot more than that, so happy to have this in like one little collection. Um, that's it uh, for this pickups episode, hopefully I'll be uploading these more uh, in tune by the time this one's uploaded, it'll probably be like August or some crazy thing. I need to get more... Uh, in tune with my schedule. So, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you, Alyssa. I had an amazing time in California. I really want to go again very soon, so hopefully I'll be able to do so. Um, again, just thanks for watching. I will be uploading more pickups videos, hopefully pretty soon. I don't know if I'll be gar garage selling so much. All this stuff needs to be organized. Um, back here, I have the Five Nights of Freddy's figures I just picked up. Aren't in the pickups episode. I have Ghostbusters uh, figures that I did pick up in a pickups episode. Um, just collections upon collections that need so much organizing, and I'm just so far behind in like stuff that I bought. So hopefully, I can get that uh, put together, put away, and uh, release videos more on a schedule. Uh, so stay tuned for more, and I'll see you next time. 
These also arrived when I was at California to my house. Uh, right Stuff, which is a uh, anime selling company. They sell figures, DVDs, manga. They were having a really weird but awesome sale where basically a lot of stuff was five dollars that usually isn't. Um, and, and by a lot, I actually mean only like a hundred things. But still, um, not too bad. Um, but I did end up picking up a, quite a lot of stuff. If you've watched my anime uh, collection video, part three, uh, this is what I was talking about in terms of like watch pickups if you want to see more anime collection DVD updates. They'll be in pickups from now on if I do pick them up. Like I said, movies will be split up into categories and what have you. Um, but uh, the first, these were all five dollars. Just get that out right out of the way, so I don't have to keep saying five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. Um, Agent Ica, or just I guess Ica, the complete collection. I have the movie to this, so I decided to pick it up for five bucks. Why the heck not? I know it's fan service but that's pretty much all I know about it. Um, it's just going to go in the collection. I'll hopefully watch that series soon. Um, uh, the Familiar of Zero, I've heard some decent things about this show. This is season one, uh, which is the first 13 episodes on Blu-ray. Again, $5. It's a no-brainer. Then we got some Fate Stay Night stuff. Uh, collection one and two, which I think is the first, like, just part of the series. I don't know too much about it, but... Uh, 24 episodes for 10 bucks on Blu-ray, hell yeah. And then we got uh, Unlimited Blade Works, which I think is an OVA. So those are some pretty awesome anime pickups in my opinion. Uh, you'll s hopefully be seeing a lot more stuff like that. I may be uh, slowing down on anime for now, but we'll see in the near future what holds. Alright guys, uh, just got the package from my girlfriend that I was talking about earlier. And uh, I can finally show off the stuff that I uh, picked up up in California. Um, thank you, Alyssa, for sending this stuff back. Uh, she also sent uh, with it some Haichu, uh, about three bags. I already started eating them because I freaking... It's like my favorite candy, actually. Um, they're really good. <laughs> I have a, a super old video on this channel somewhere about me first trying them. It's kind of funny, but uh, I, I honestly think they're like one of my favorite candy now. Um... And she also sent me some drawing stuff, sketchbooks, and uh, pens and pencils and stuff. So thank you for that. I always draw, so it's just something to have uh, to help. Because I, I work on my comic series that I, I work on. It's it's nothing special. It's just something that I uh, work on from time to time. But, uh, yeah, here we go, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the one game I couldn't show. Um, that is Metro... Or, no, it's not Metro. Metro 2033. Uh, Beyond Two Souls. Uh, this is the Steelbook Edition. Uh, the slipcover is somewhere over there for it. But uh, yeah, this is like, uh, what, nine bucks at GameStop. And for the Steelbook, and it is by Quantic Dream, or Quantum Dream, or whatever they're called. The people who made Heavy Rain and stuff. So uh, yeah, this will be interesting to try out. Uh, next we have two movies that I picked up there that I couldn't uh, put in the video because they're both Steelbooks as well. Uh, Best Buy has recently been restocking steelbooks for whatever reason. Uh, one of them was The Karate Kid. I already have this on Blu-ray, but uh, I always get the steelbook versions when I can. It's the same exact thing, it's just in the steelbooks. So I'll just be selling off my other copy. I only paid like 2 bucks for it. This was 10 I believe, but steelbooks are usually more expensive. And one I was really happy to pick up was uh, uh, Ghost in the Shell. I actually have the already had the DVD of this. He saw me pick up those posters a couple pickups episodes ago. A uh, really good movie, uh, Steelbook again, randomly restocked about ten bucks, and uh, yeah, upgraded to Blu-ray, uh, sell off the old DVD and Steelbook, so everything's better with that one. And then finally, uh, we just have some toys that uh, I bought up there as well. Uh, lots of World of Nintendo and some Power Rangers stuff. So I guess we'll start off with the World of Nintendo. Um, first of all, we have the 2.5 inch figures. These were a couple that I wanted. Uh, some of the last few, other than like one exclusive that I think I'm looking for actually. Uh, we have Olimar here. Uh, he might get a 4-inch, I doubt it, but uh, for now, there he is. He's got a really cool C3 helmet. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Then completing the Pikmin collection, I have blue, yellow, purple, and Olimar. And now I have red Pikmin. So that completes that collection unless, unless they make any more. Uh, he's really tiny, but uh, there you go. Then another figure that I was looking for for my Zelda shelf was a little Tetra figure. Uh, first Tetra I have, um, there you go. She's apparently really easy to find, except for in Minnesota, where she doesn't exist, apparently, at all. <laughs> um, then we have the 4-inch figures. 
A couple, this is like all Wave 1-4, which is a wave that never came out here. Uh, we also never got Wave 1-3, for whatever reason. Um, I'm only missing one figure uh, from this wave now, so that's really cool. Uh, first off, we have Gold Mario. He's from like the new Super Mario Bros. 2 game. Uh, he came with a coin. Then we have Waluigi. He also came with a coin, which I prefer if he came with like a bomb or something, because I have like 10 of these coins now, but... Uh, this is my first Waluigi figure, so that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, then we have Cat Luigi. Uh, he's from New Super Mario 3D World, obviously. Uh, Neko Mimi Luigi is also what me and my girlfriend have dubbed him. And he came with the, uh, the bell transformation item. Then finally, we have another Zelda figure for the Zelda shelf. Uh, Sheik. My first Sheik figure as well. Uh, one of the few that actually exist of her. I think there's only a, the old school Nintendo one and this one, actually. So that's pretty cool. She comes with her harp. And just a random figure here, uh, this was actually next to the World Nintendo figures and targets. Uh, this is a Skyrim figure, uh, and this has the Daedric armor. They also had one of the, uh, the Dragonborn, but I thought this one looked much cooler. And if I want to pick up the other one sometime soon, uh, I can. And these are, this is by the same people who did the Fallout 4, like, uh, Tower Armor and Vault Wanderer figure, so, not bad. And then finally, we just have a bunch of these, uh, Ranger Keys... Uh, I'm collecting all of these, and there's, like, like, some ridiculous, like, 50 amount of packs that just came with three keys each, and I'm currently only missing three. Uh, they're all, like, $30 on eBay, so hopefully I can find them for cheaper. They retail for about, uh, eight bucks, so I don't really want to pay that much for them, but we'll see what happens. So, uh, I guess I'll just intersplice these videos into the actual video, and see you next time. Video Games! Jesus Christ.